for the last, I would say, 10 or 15 years, people have been using LiDAR on self-driving cars because it's a great sensor, provides lots of valuable information about the environment around the car. But um, there was an assumption that because this stuff is so exotic and so expensive, it can never make its way into a commercial product. Um, well, I think that's only true because the sensors that had been around for the last 10 or 15 years were sold in, sold in such low volume and that there's sort of these esoteric military applications that no one had actually tried or, or had pressure to bring the cost down. Um, but a number of those things have changed and now, um, you know, with strobe, we have a path to getting LiDAR down to a single chip where it's costing hundreds of dollars, not thousands or tens of thousands. So all those assumptions about LiDAR being a, a, an exotic sensor that can't be used in a commercial product are now completely gone. And then, of course, if you ask any engineer um, who's working on self-driving cars, if I give you one development vehicle to work on that just has cameras and radar, one that has cameras, radars, and LiDAR, which one of these development platforms is going to get you to a commercial product faster and, and enable a higher level of safety? It's the one with LiDAR. 